Russia commands one of the largest and most technologically advanced air forces in the world, boasting over 4,000 aircraft in active service. Its strategic bombers alone can reach targets thousands of kilometers away, projecting power on a global scale. But here's a striking fact. Russia's 2160 White Swan remains the fastest bomber ever built, capable of speeds over Mach 2. Do you know what makes this aircraft a game changer in modern air warfare? Modernization of the Russian Air Force. Modernization of the Russian Air Force Russian Air Power in 2025 is undergoing a transformation that's reshaping the balance of aerial strength on the global stage. At the heart of this evolution is the ambitious modernization of the Russian Air Force, driven by the introduction of cutting-edge aircraft designed to rival the best in the world. The Su-57, Russia's fifth-generation stealth fighter, stands out as a symbol of this leap forward. Combining stealth technology, supersonic speed, and advanced avionics, the Su-57 is engineered not just to survive in contested airspace, but to dominate it. This fighter is equipped with sophisticated sensors and weaponry that enable it to engage multiple targets simultaneously, making it a formidable opponent in any aerial engagement. Beyond the Su-57, Russia is upgrading its fleet of Su-35 and Su-30 fighters, ensuring that even its fourth-generation aircraft remain highly capable and relevant. This modernization effort isn't just about hardware. It also reflects a strategic shift toward greater operational flexibility and networked warfare. The Russian Air Force is integrating its aircraft with advanced command and control systems, allowing pilots to share real-time information and coordinate complex missions with precision. This interconnected approach enhances situational awareness and multiplies combat effectiveness. While challenges like budget constraints and aging infrastructure persist, Russia's commitment to revitalizing its air power signals its determination to maintain a credible and modern aerial force. The modernization of the Russian Air Force is not just about keeping pace with rivals, it's about asserting Russia's role as a dominant air power well into the future. Strategic Bomber Capabilities Strategic Bomber Capabilities How does a nation project power across continents without launching a single missile? The answer often lies with its strategic bomber fleet, and in 2025, Russia's capabilities in this domain remain a critical aspect of its air power. The formidable Tu-160, often dubbed the White Swan, continues to be the crown jewel of Russia's long-range aviation. This supersonic variable-sweep wing bomber isn't just fast. It's designed to penetrate sophisticated air defenses and deliver both conventional and nuclear payloads over vast distances. Its recent upgrades include new engines and modern avionics, significantly extending its operational life and enhancing its combat effectiveness. Complementing the 2160 is the enduring 295 Bear, a turboprop-powered strategic bomber that, despite its age, remains a reliable workhorse. The 295 has also undergone modernization, incorporating new cruise missiles that allow it to strike targets from standoff ranges, minimizing exposure to enemy air defenses. These bombers are not merely delivery platforms, they are symbols of Russia's global reach and deterrence capabilities. Their presence in long-duration patrols over international waters serves as a clear demonstration of force, projecting influence far beyond Russia's borders. The strategic bomber fleet also plays a crucial role in supporting naval operations and conventional strike missions, offering a versatile platform for various military objectives. The continuous development and deployment of these bombers underscore Russia's commitment to maintaining a robust long-range aviation component, ensuring its ability to respond to threats and project power on a global scale for years to come. Drone and UAV Integration Drone and UAV integration, unmanned aerial vehicles have become a game-changer in modern warfare, and Russia is no exception in harnessing their potential to boost air power in 2025. The Russian military has accelerated the integration of drones and UAVs into its air force, recognizing their value not only for reconnaissance, but also for electronic warfare and precision strikes. These drones provide commanders with real-time intelligence, allowing for faster decision-making and more effective targeting without putting pilots at risk. Russia's UAV programs include a variety of platforms, from smaller tactical drones used for battlefield surveillance to larger armed drones capable of carrying out strike missions. 
What sets Russian drone development apart is the emphasis on electronic warfare capabilities embedded within these systems, enabling them to jam enemy communications and radar, disrupting adversary operations before a single missile is launched. This blend of reconnaissance, strike, and electronic attack roles makes drones a versatile force multiplier in Russia's aerial arsenal. Additionally, the use of drones in recent conflicts has provided valuable combat experience, helping refine tactics and improve drone technology. The growing drone fleet also complements manned aircraft by performing high-risk or prolonged missions, preserving pilot safety while maintaining battlefield pressure. As Russia continues to invest in drone innovation, including AI-assisted targeting and swarm technologies, its air power is evolving into a more flexible networked force capable of dominating contested airspace. This shift not only enhances Russia's tactical options, but also signals a broader trend in warfare, where unmanned systems increasingly define air superiority. Air Defense System Synergy when it comes to defending vast airspace, Russia doesn't rely on fighter jets alone. Its air defense systems form an impenetrable shield that complements its air force operations. The S-400 Triumph system is arguably the crown jewel of this layered defense network, capable of tracking and engaging multiple aerial targets, including stealth aircraft and ballistic missiles, at ranges exceeding 400 kilometers. But Russia isn't stopping there. The introduction of the S-500 Promete promises to revolutionize air defense with even greater range, faster tracking, and the ability to intercept hypersonic threats. These systems don't operate in isolation, they are tightly integrated with Russian aircraft and command centers, creating a seamless web of detection and interception. This synergy allows pilots to maneuver with confidence, knowing that ground-based defenses cover their flanks. The combination of advanced radar, missile technology, and electronic warfare creates a multi-layered fortress that complicates any adversary's attack plans. Moreover, the mobility of these systems means they can be rapidly deployed to hotspots, adapting to shifting threats in real time. This integration of air defense and air force assets exemplifies Russia's approach to modern warfare, combining offense and defense into a cohesive, highly responsive force. As air threats evolve with new stealth and hypersonic technologies, Russia's layered air defense network ensures it remains a formidable challenge for any potential aggressor aiming to penetrate its skies. This strategic blend of technology and coordination is a key pillar of Russian air power in 2025, making its airspace one of the most heavily defended in the world. Electronic Warfare and Cyber Capabilities In modern aerial warfare, Dominating the electromagnetic spectrum can be just as decisive as controlling the skies. Russia's investment in electronic warfare and cyber capabilities has become a cornerstone of its air power strategy in 2025. These advanced systems are designed to disrupt enemy radar, communications, and navigation, effectively blinding and confusing opposing forces before a single missile is fired. Russian EW units can jam or spoof enemy sensors, degrade targeting accuracy, and protect their own aircraft from detection, creating a significant tactical advantage. This electronic dominance extends beyond traditional jamming. It includes cyber operations that target command and control networks, undermining enemy coordination and response times. The integration of EW capabilities with manned and unmanned platforms allows Russia to conduct complex operations where electronic attacks soften defenses and pave the way for precision strikes. Recent conflicts have demonstrated how Russian electronic warfare can neutralize technologically superior adversaries by exploiting vulnerabilities in their systems. This layered approach to electronic and cyber warfare not only enhances survivability but also forces opponents to adapt costly countermeasures, slowing their operational tempo. As air combat increasingly relies on sensors and data, Russia's focus on EW ensures it remains a formidable force capable of shaping the battlefield environment itself. This blend of electronic disruption and cyber offense is transforming Russian air power into a multi-dimensional threat, where control over information and technology is as critical as firepower. Training and readiness. What separates a good pilot from a great one? In 2025, Russia's air power relies heavily on the skill and readiness of its aviators, who undergo rigorous training designed to prepare them for the complexities of modern aerial combat. Russian pilots don't just fly, they train in highly realistic simulations that replicate the intense pressures of real battle, including electronic warfare environments and multi-threat scenarios. 
This continuous, immersive training sharpens their reflexes and decision-making, enabling them to operate advanced aircraft like the Su-57 and Su-35 with precision and confidence. Beyond individual skills, Russia emphasizes teamwork and coordination, conducting large-scale exercises that integrate air, ground, and naval forces to simulate joint operations. These drills test pilots' ability to adapt quickly, communicate effectively, and execute complex missions under stress. The Russian Air Force also invests in updating its training infrastructure, incorporating virtual reality and AI-driven tools to enhance learning outcomes. This focus on readiness ensures that when conflict arises, Russian pilots can maximize the capabilities of their aircraft and systems. Despite technological advances, human expertise remains a decisive factor in air superiority, and Russia's commitment to pilot training reflects an understanding that cutting-edge hardware is only as effective as the people who operate it. In a rapidly evolving battlefield, this blend of advanced technology and elite training keeps Russia's Air Force agile, lethal, and ready to face a wide range of challenges. Export and International Influence So, how does a country extend its influence beyond its borders without firing a single shot? Well, Russia's air power strategy in 2025 really leverages military exports as a powerful tool to build alliances and project influence worldwide. By supplying advanced aircraft like the Su-35 and MiG-29 to allied nations, Russia not only strengthens these countries' defense capabilities, but also deepens strategic partnerships. These exports come with training, maintenance and technology transfers that create long-term dependencies, ensuring Russia's presence in key regions. This approach goes way beyond just selling hardware. It's really about shaping geopolitical dynamics through military cooperation. Countries in Asia, the Middle East and Africa have become major recipients of Russian aircraft, benefiting from proven technology at competitive prices. This export strategy also fuels Russia's defense industry, providing funds that support further research and development. Moreover, by showcasing its aircraft in international air shows and joint exercises, Russia demonstrates the reliability and effectiveness of its air power, attracting new customers and, you know, reinforcing its global standing. This blend of commerce and diplomacy through military aviation helps Russia maintain a foothold in regions critical to its interests, even where direct military presence is limited. In 2025, Russian air power isn't just about what happens in the skies over its own territory. It's also about extending reach and influence through the wings of its allies, making military exports a key pillar of its broader strategic vision. Challenges and Limitations Even the most advanced Air Force faces hurdles, and you know, Russia's air power in 2025 is no exception. Despite some pretty impressive modernization efforts, there are several challenges that threaten to slow progress and limit operational effectiveness. One of the biggest obstacles is budget constraints, which really impact the pace of aircraft production, upgrades, and maintenance. Modern fighter jets like the Su-57 are just super expensive to build and maintain, and limited funding means Russia has to carefully balance new acquisitions with sustaining its existing fleet. Another issue lies in aging infrastructure. Honestly, many air bases and support facilities require modernization to keep up with the demands of advanced aircraft and digital warfare systems. Without upgrades, these facilities can become bottlenecks, which reduces readiness and response times. Additionally, Russia faces difficulties in sourcing some high-tech components domestically due to sanctions and export restrictions, which forces reliance on alternative suppliers or indigenous development, and that can delay projects. Maintaining operational readiness while transitioning to newer platforms is also a really delicate balancing act. Retiring older aircraft too quickly risks gaps in capability, while keeping them too long strains resources and logistics. Furthermore, pilot shortages and the need for continuous advanced training add even more complexity to sustaining an effective force. These challenges don't negate Russia's air power, but they do highlight the realities of modern military development. Overcoming these hurdles is going to require strategic planning, investment, and innovation. Russia's ability to address these limitations will ultimately shape how effectively its air force can project power and defend its interests in the years ahead. Role in hybrid and regional conflicts When air power meets real-world conflict, theory turns into hard-earned experience. Russian air forces have actively participated in hybrid and regional conflicts over the past decade, using these engagements as live testing grounds for tactics, technology, and operational concepts. 
Syria, for instance, became a proving ground where Russia deployed a mix of advanced fighters, bombers, drones, and electronic warfare systems to support ground operations and test new weapons under combat conditions. These missions provided invaluable data on the effectiveness of precision strikes, air defense suppression, and coordination with other military branches. Similarly, ongoing involvement in Ukraine has pushed Russian air power to adapt rapidly to evolving threats, including countering Western-supplied air defense systems and drones. These conflicts have exposed both strengths and vulnerabilities, which has driven accelerated modernization and tactical innovation. The experience gained has influenced pilot training, drone deployment strategies, and electronic warfare tactics making the Russian Air Force more battle-hardened and versatile. Moreover, these regional engagements highlight Russia's ability to project air power in complex environments where conventional warfare blends with asymmetric threats. This practical application of air power ensures that Russia's aerial capabilities are not just theoretical, but tested and refined in the crucible of conflict. As a result, Russian air power in 2025 is shaped by real combat experience, making it a dynamic force that continues to evolve in response to modern warfare's challenges and demands. Future Outlook and Developments So, what will the future of Russian air power look like beyond 2025? The answer, honestly, lies in a bold vision that combines cutting-edge technology with strategic innovation to maintain and expand air superiority. Hypersonic weapons are at the forefront of this evolution, promising to revolutionize strike capabilities by delivering ultra-fast, hard-to-intercept attacks that can overwhelm enemy defenses. Russia is actively integrating these weapons into its bomber and missile platforms aiming to create a new level of deterrence and battlefield dominance. Alongside hypersonics, the expansion of drone fleets, especially autonomous and swarm technologies, will totally redefine how Russia conducts reconnaissance and offensive operations, allowing for more flexible, persistent, and cost-effective missions. Stealth technology is also evolving, with continuous improvements to aircraft like the Su-57, and potential new designs that enhance survivability in increasingly contested airspaces. Beyond hardware, Russia is investing heavily in artificial intelligence and network-centric warfare, enabling faster data sharing, improved targeting, and more coordinated multi-domain operations. This future-focused approach really reflects an understanding that tomorrow's air battles will be fought not just with speed and firepower but with information dominance and technological edge. While challenges remain, Russia's commitment to innovation ensures its air force will remain a formidable force capable of adapting to emerging threats and maintaining strategic influence. The trajectory of Russian air power is clear. A blend of advanced weapons, smart technology, and integrated systems designed to secure its place as a dominant aerial power well into the next decade and beyond. Thanks for watching this deep dive into Russian air power with InnoVision Tech. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay updated on the latest in technology and innovation, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you never miss an update. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below and tell us what fascinates you most about modern air forces or what topics you want us to cover next. Stay curious and let's explore the future of tech together. <laughs>